Yo, what is going on Fantasy Addicts? I'm your host, That Fantasy Addict, and today we have a quick video coming at you guys. I'm covering the Raheem Mostert trade demand news, so just to start off in case you haven't heard, I'm telling you right now, Raheem Mostert has requested a trade from the 49ers thanks to his agent coming out with that news. So I'm gonna cover the real life impact as well as the fantasy impact. So no matter what you're looking for, I'm gonna make sure that I cover it in here and I'll try to keep it as quick as possible with still covering everything so you guys are satisfied with this content. So first off, let's just do the real life impact because that is going to affect the fantasy impact. So to start, do I think that he will get traded? I do. You know, we saw Matt Breida got traded. The 49ers, they used Matt Breida last season, but they didn't care too much to get rid of him, even though you could make an argument that he was fairly important to them. And they only traded him for a fifth round pick, given it was an early fifth round pick because it was the Dolphins, but still, they traded him for a fifth round pick. And the reason for that is because at the end of the day, yes, he was very valuable to them, but he's not a core piece of their team. And neither is Raheem Mostert, even though it seems like it. And another reason why I think that they might be willing to trade him is because Tevin Coleman was supposed to be their guy last season. Kyle Shanahan brought him in because he knows how to use Tevin Coleman. Tevin Coleman has always been under Devontae Freeman's shadow when he was in Atlanta, but he was fully capable of being a featured back, and Shanahan knew that. And I think that Shanahan was planning on using him as a featured back, but with Matt Breda looking really good, and Jeff Wilson looking good at times, and Raheem Moster absolutely breaking out, he kind of had no choice but to not give Coleman as many touches. But I think that he is completely fine with having Tevin Coleman as his star running back because at the end of the day, he brought Coleman in to be that guy. Now, I also think that even though he did bring him in to be that guy, he might want to look for Devontae Freeman because at the end of the day, they almost won a Super Bowl with Devontae Freeman and Tevin Coleman on the same team. Right now, I would put the 49ers as the favorite to end up with Devontae Freeman. I think Devontae Freeman would love to go to the 49ers and be with Tevin Coleman and Kyle Shanahan. And I think both Tevin Coleman and Shanahan would love to bring in Devontae Freeman. And I think that wherever Raheem Mostert goes... Honestly, it's not going to be that great of a situation. There's no team that I think would go after him who desperately needs a running back, but that could still keep him fantasy relevant. The teams who I'm seeing a lot of are the Bucks, the Redskins. I think the Redskins are a little more likely, but even then, Darius Geis is very talented, and as long as he stays healthy, he's going to be the guy there. They also brought in Antonio Gibson, for possibly a receiving back, but maybe a receiver. We don't know. But nonetheless, I do think that the Redskins are a pretty reasonable location for Raheem Mostert to end up in, but I'm not completely sure with that, so we'll see what happens there. But what I do feel pretty good about is Devontae Freeman going to San Francisco. It might not happen, but I think that it's a very good chance. So what's the fantasy impact of all this? Well, to start off, if Raheem Mostert gets traded, I don't think that there's anywhere that he could go where he wouldn't lose value. I think that wherever he goes, he's going to lose value. Now, Tevin Coleman, it's very tricky. So the running backs on the 49ers current roster, the fantasy relevant running backs, are Mostert, who we're going to assume he gets traded. Then there's Tevin Coleman, there's Jeff Wilson, and there's Jarek McKinnon. Jarek McKinnon, I think, is just going to be used on some third downs, if he's used at all. Jeff Wilson will be used, kind of scattered around, a little bit of a third down back, a little bit of an early down back. He'll just kind of chip away some touches in the rushing and receiving game. And then Tevin Coleman is going to be used fairly heavily on third downs and also used on the early downs. Like He realistically could be a featured back on his Super Bowl contending team if Moster is traded. Now, like I said, I do think that they could definitely bring in Devontae Freeman. If that happens, Tevin Coleman's value certainly goes down to what it would be if they don't bring in Devontae Freeman. But I still think that he could be fairly valuable because we've seen how good he can be under Kyle Shanahan with Devontae Freeman on his side, right? In 2016, in that elite Falcons campaign where they ended up blowing a 28-3 lead against the Patriots in the Super Bowl, 
But besides that, they looked phenomenal. And Devontae Freeman finished as the RB6 that season. So that's tremendous. That's better than what he's going to finish as if he goes to the 49ers, for sure. Yet, Tevin Coleman still finished as the RB19. So I think that even if Devontae Freeman goes there, Tevin Coleman is still a pretty good running back. Now, if Devontae Freeman doesn't go there, Tevin Coleman is probably a third-round pick, an early third-round pick in fantasy football. I think that's where his ADP would go because all the guys there are guys who are maybe a little more talented, but not in as good of situations. Guys like Le'Veon Bell, Leonard Fournette, Todd Gurley, those kind of guys. I think Tevin Coleman fits right there. Now, if Devontae Freeman goes to San Francisco, I think that Tevin Coleman is still probably a sixth round, seventh round pick. So not bad, but definitely his upside would be capped if Devontae Freeman were to go there. But you also have to remember that Devontae Freeman was used as the RB1 in the Falcons offense because he was in his prime. Now he's 28. Tevin Coleman is 27, but that is usually the end of running backs primes. And 28 is definitely a significant drop off from the age 27. Normally they do see a significant drop in production going from 27 to 28. So I do think that Tevin Coleman will still be fantasy relevant if Devontae Freeman's there. But if Devontae Freeman is not there, Tevin Coleman is very, very valuable and probably a third round pick. Now, I think George Kittle will probably be even more relevant. He will, he will probably start being a second round pick, a late second round pick right behind Travis Kelsey. I think if Raheem Mostert is traded, I think Jimmy Garoppolo, it doesn't really affect him too much. I don't think it really affects many other players on this team. Like I said, Raheem Mostert, his value is going to go down definitely. But yeah, that's what I think is going to happen. I, I think that they'll trade Raheem Mostert. I think there's a good chance they bring in Devontae Freeman. But for the sake of Tevin Coleman's fantasy season, I hope that they don't bring in Devontae Freeman, because if they don't, Tevin Coleman could be incredible. You know, he has chemistry with Kyle Shanahan, and he is capable of being a featured back. So if Devontae Freeman is not brought in by San Francisco, Tevin Coleman is going to be drafted as an RB2. But if Devontae Freeman goes to San Francisco, Tevin Coleman will be drafted as a bench player, but still fantasy relevant. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like and let me know in the comment section what do you think is going to happen. Do you think they are going to trade Raheem Mostert or do you not think so? I want to hear what you guys think. I want to see what the what everyone else is thinking about this because I do think that they'll trade him, but I want to hear what you guys have to say about it. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button because I make sure to always bring you guys news on the important transactions or important news in the NFL and the fantasy football season. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace.